Jim Holly, SupercrossOnline.com. The king of the privateers, I like to call him. Paulie Carpenter, you're still leading that uh, privateer standings. Yeah, you know, last weekend was tough on me in Detroit. Uh, I uh, crashed on my own when I was in eighth and uh, just kind of lost a lot of points. I actually made my way back up to 11th or 12th and then got tangled up with Nick Way in the last uh, lap. So uh, I lost a lot of points, but uh, hope to gain some back here in St. Louis and just have a good, safe ride and uh, keep myself uh, in that contention. Somebody who gained some points uh, on your behalf in Nick Way, Chad Reed. Uh, talk about what happened between you and Nick Way that last lap. Actually, uh, I passed Nick in the whoops. I, you know, I caught him from a long ways back, and I passed him in the whoops on the right-hand side and uh, kind of went to go around him in the corner, and I, I had a pretty good cushion going in. And uh, you know, I, I knew he might try to put a block pass, bleh, block pass on me, but uh, I didn't think he was gonna, you know, come in and be so aggressive. And uh, there was Jacob Marsack was up high, and I ran myself as high as I could, and actually took Marsack out. And Nick just kept running me higher, and uh, we ended up both getting tangled up and went down. And it was just one of those things, you know, uh, no hard feelings or anything. I just was a kind of a bummer because it took us both out, and uh, also allowed Summy to catch up quite a good, good amount of points on us in the, uh, you know, top 10 race. So. You know, I got to ask you if Chad Reed wins this championship by two points, he might want to come over and thank you and Nick Way for that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that's uh, that's a whole nother ball game. I'm not worried about his deal or whatnot. But uh, you know, the guy obviously he rode hard last weekend just to even be in that position. So uh, hats off to him. And uh, you know, hopefully I, I I can focus on my own program and, and put my you know MDK Atomic Honda up front and, and see where uh, it leaves me. Well, let me ask you this: with three rounds to go, and I've been in those positions before. Uh, you know, you're out there, you're battling yourself for a position, but yet you got Kevin Windham and Chad Reed going for a championship, and the last thing you want to do is get in the middle of both of those guys. Absolutely. You know, that's that's one thing that's definitely probably on everybody's mind at this point, um, championships. So we'll be real courteous to the blue flags and look back and see what's there and who's there and uh, definitely give those guys room. I mean, um, that's it seems to be the tracks are kind of getting a little bit better for that. Uh, they haven't been quite as so one line this, this last couple of races. So I think that'll be good. And uh, I think all the guys are really going to pay attention to that now because everybody else is kind of settled in and, and uh, you know, everybody will be looking for it. You could actually wrap up that uh, privateer, uh, top privateer uh, $25,000 uh, after Seattle. Yeah, you know, things had have to go perfect, and I never, I, I hate, you know, going that route. But uh, if it if it happens, it happens, man. I'd be so 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 good because it'd be so less pressure going into Vegas and just uh, you know be able to have a good time there. Um, but you know, we still got a long three races. You know, it, it doesn't seem uh, doesn't seem that big, but three races, a lot of points can be made or lost. Like Kevin Wyndham said, there's 60 more laps to go in the season. <laughs> Absolutely, that's a long time. So. Well, you heard it. Still a long way to go here before the finale in Vegas.